So here's the scenario. You have a folder on your computer of files that you look at often and it is a folder inside of another folder, inside of another folder, possibly on a different drive. And you can't always remember exactly where it is and you just want to be able to quickly access it whenever you want. So in this example, I've got a folder full of different types of wallpaper for my background here. Okay. So I like to mix it up occasionally and change it from the boring Windows wallpaper. So normally what you would have to do to access this folder is open up your folder view here under this PC. You have to find the drive. Then you have to drill down into the folder that you want to get to the content that you want. Now, as you can see, that is a lot of clicks just to get to one folder that you access a lot. I'm going to show you a way to do what's called drive mapping. And what that will do is it'll actually create a new drive letter that you can quickly access with one click and it'll take you straight to it. Okay. Now, there are a couple different ways to do this. In this case, this wallpaper is a folder that I know I want to access frequently. So the quickest way, you could just simply right click on this folder and go down here, choose send to, and then choose desktop create shortcut. And when you do that, you will create a shortcut right here on your desktop that when you click it, it comes right up instant. Now that's great if you just want to quickly access the files randomly it's not the ideal long-term solution because sometimes you may have a program like a video editing program or something along those lines where you're constantly writing to that folder and as you can see the path is still long it's still you'd still have to drill down into that folder to get to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a better way instead of having that big long path you're just going to have one quick click. So first what you have to do is share that folder. So I'm going to open up that folder again. Now this wallpaper folder as you can see has a bunch of subfolders. My Tampa Bay pictures, my Tiger Woods stuff, you know, all kinds of stuff, military stuff, all the things that I find interesting. So I want to access this folder pretty frequently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the folder just before it, which in this case is pictures, I'm going to right click on the folder that I want to eventually map. But first thing I have to do is I have to share this folder. So what you do is you right click on the folder and go down to the, here and left click properties. You'll get a properties window that comes up that tells you the properties of all the files inside this folder. If you click right here where it says sharing, now you have the very first option here it gives you the option to share so you click on share you want to click right here and choose everyone and then add and you see now everyone is listed here the default setting only lets you read what's in that folder if you want to be able to write to it click on this arrow and then select read write as you can see now everyone who has access to the share can read and write to that folder then you just simply click share and then just like that that folder is shared okay the very next step is you go here and on the top left click on this PC right here and then go up here to click map network drive on the toolbar when you click on that it's going to give you the option to create a network drive map in this case I want to use since it's wallpaper I'm going to choose the letter W because it's easy to remember then for the folder it wants to know where is that folder that you just shared so you would click on browse and then because we shared that folder already it's going to search the network in this case everything that's on my personal network including drive shares and then what it'll do is it'll pull up all the share drives that I created and if you look right there there is the wallpaper folder that I just created so I'm going to select that click OK, leave reconnect at sign in, and then click finish. Now when you look under this PC in the list of drives, if you look right here under the W drive, it goes straight to that folder with 
all of those subfolders in it. So anytime I want to access those documents or pictures or videos or whatever, I don't have to type in that big long path. All I have to do is go down here, click on the W drive, and there's everything I want right there very quickly. Two clicks, boom, you're done. If this video helped you, please click on that like button for me. It really helps me. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel so that you get notified anytime I make new content like this for you. Helpful Windows tricks and things like that. So that being said, have a great day and good luck and have fun.